I like this part. Let's begin where we started. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for your time and attention. This is a recap of composing in 2662 part 12, chapter 2. So we took time out to review and reflect on what we had done so far and decided to call that chapter 1. In chapter 1 we had 22 lines of music in kind of six parts of a story, meta-labels. We used 14 phrases that we had worked on and we're calling them a phrase assembly. It has a bass chords and it has, like over here, has a bass chords, a backbone, and melodic. So we call that a phrase assembly. A lot of variations, including turning something into a three time rhythm using eighth notes. We had fast, medium, and slow. So then we said, now we want to start chapter two. And chapter two basically means um, kind of reflection, step back review what we've done, which we've done, and then kind of think about where we, do we want to go next. And we started by listening some more to some musical ideas. And the particular ideas that we listened to were Bizet. And what we noticed there is that he had fast and slow rhythms, loud and soft volumes, different motifs, two melodies playing against each other, one with a lot of ornamentation. He had strings, woodwinds, and brass, some trill ornaments. Sometimes it was cacophonous, all kinds of stuff going at once, and some things very smooth and so forth. So that was cool. And that kind of reminded us of the kind of changes and variations we can make, whether we're in a, a major diatonic scale like this one or 2662 full tonality. Then we listen to something that was uh, all, it's a, it's a rhythm ensemble. also a soft rhythm ensemble. And what we noticed about that was it had uh, alternating push percussion parts, timbres, pitch clicking sounds, um, and then um, pitched gong sounds, uh, slower gong sounds. It also had kind of a, an eerie feel to it. So we had kind of a timeless played against timing, a tick-tock and a, and a background steady sound. Steady, 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 steady backgrounds, chords, something like that. We like it. So you can tell steady background chords played against time. Changing tick-tock like that. So we did that. That was fun. So then we wanted to take the, the first thing we'd ever composed in this series, and that was called the motif model. And we wanted to put it over here. Uh, this was in this was in that 2-4 time. We want to just get it over on the right hand side. And we did. also labeled it. That's the insistent motif and then it's followed by a conclusive motif. And uh, one of the things that happens is in the in the new 
home, 180 tempo, six quarter time signature, these turn into three bar lines, not four bar. So already we have a chapter two difference. We're having, this is showing up as a three bar line instead of a four bar line. Yay for difference. So we crossed that off our list. Yay. Then we came to, we, then we had a bunch of melodies we had not used yet. And, and the melodies were something we composed following the motifs and here they all were um, b1 b2 and like that and we had done some work moving them over there uh, b1 not only have we moved them over like this was the original b1 uh, but now when we had moved it over there we added the, the assembly we put the backbone and the cadences so we're in good shape there. And B2, that had already been moved over. And then, whoa, now we had something called the Simpson, which sounds like this. But over here, we'd got it moved. However, it needs to have assembly added. And then we got the Sergio, one, two, three, and four, all done. Then we had some material down here, Sinbad. And that, that matched. Uh, but this time on the right, we had the, the full assemblage and also what we call the New World theme. And what was left was these three upside down themes had to come over. But they were very easy because they had already been composed in a six time. So that was a piece of cake. So we were able to cross that off of our list. So so the thing the things that we were thinking of that we could revisit next, well <sighs> Um, move the new material into a Pulse Story Chapter 2. Something like that. That's, that, that needs to happen. And then um, we have, since we have some two time and some three time, now what do we mean by two time and three time? Well, I'll tell you. This is uh, two time for sure. It's two major beats per bar, and but in our uh, in the work over here, can't you just hear that three beat playing against the two beat? Uh, I almost want to do it now. However, we will restrain ourselves. So we definitely want to explore that. Um, uh, then we want to revisit our timbres, and one of the things, uh, where were we listening to this? It was a gorgeous piece of music. It was actually, we didn't hear it on YouTube, we were at an event, and we heard them playing um, uh, a group called the Two Tones or something, but beautiful vocal harmony. And then uh, we thought, well, you know, there's, there's some... Um, 2662 harmonies and chords we, we may not have used yet. We might want to go back and look at them and see how well we've covered the ground, if, if there's anything we want to use in a chapter two or maybe a chapter three. And then we thought, well, maybe we want a lyric. You want some words to go with, um, with all this eerie sounding stuff. So let's kind of wrap it up here. We've got the transitions model with new material in it. And we have this original pulse story model. And um, let's play the parts on the left that actually have uh, the full phrase assemblies and, and just alternate just to hear what it sounds like. And then we have this. 
this. I don't think we finished that in the first part properly. All right. Then, then what we got? Okay, then we have this part. And then we have a melody over here. Yeah, I definitely didn't play that first one correct, but that's all right. So now, now, now we get to this thing. Then we have this. Then we have this. And then we have this. And those will go together, wouldn't they? Yep. So then we hear this. Oops. And then. And then. this over here. Oh, I can almost hear that riding under the da, 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 da. Then we have this. Mm, three time. And what's happening down here? And then, um, then we come into this. And then all of a sudden we're here in Sinbad. I mean, we might end up wanting to slow that down to match. Then this. here so uh, let's let's listen to the rest of it and then here um, What's the part we haven't played yet? This one. Um. Interesting. So interesting, we have some rising and settling melodies on the left, and we have some fast and some slow, and some two time and some three time, similarly to on the right. So, and of course, they're all composed in 2662. Two. Now, whether they're in a C, D, or a G flat, they're still 2662. Two. And we certainly would have the option over here to modulate these melodies up to a D or up to a G flat if we so choose. So that concludes today's stream. We did quite a lot of work up through here, here, and here. And this is kind of the new ground uh, for us to look at, you know, composing chapter two. Ladies and gentlemen, as always, thank you for your time and attention. I do not take it for granted. Look forward to seeing you in the next stream. And as always, keep on streaming.